All right, so we back, eh? Yeah, yeah, we are. All right, we're gonna be looking at Netherlands now. Uh, I'm considering them a minor just because, like, even though they are a big player, it's just I don't know. I feel like they're a minor, and I feel like I can cover the issues mostly by myself. And like, the point of Fuhrer and Seraph is like multiple viewpoints, etc. There, this this doesn't really require it. Prussia, for example has many diplomatic ties, etc. Very somewhat complex gameplay. Great Britain, etc, etc, etc. Netherlands has like one path of expansion, which is, well, two paths. Kill other people's colonies and kill either, well, I think they're like permanently allied kind of thing with Ulm. Actually, no, they're rifled now. Oofed. Kill Ulm or France. That is, that's their two pathways, you know? South, or that, you know? So, yeah, L let's look at their economy. Should be, it's 100, it's pretty good. Um, trade, etc., there's a pretty balance. They've got that great from there. Burgers are apparently disloyal. That's not nice. They can't really give land to them either, because it's all just so high dev in here, they're giving, that, giving them land, like, if they gave this to them, Influenced by six, yeah. You don't. You never want it like over ninety because there's event. You have to consider event. God, burping all the time. You have to consider events. Um, this bang bang. Uh, you get negative ten there, but eh, who cares? Uh, you get 150 mil points, which is really valuable considering the next 20% siege ability. That's gonna be nice. Uh, again, quality, maritime, economic. This, these three. Plus ten percent land fire damage, and already ten percent siege ability. They have one of the highest quality armies in Europe. Uh, they also have one of the best economies because of that Dutch trade efficiency, that extra merchant and tr yeah trade range kinda, and that development cost. Inflation's nice. It's not needed until you start getting those trade companies where you can increase their trade power f in uh, and get inflation negatives as. Um, yeah, just get inflation for increasing their trade power. Again, their fleet is also pretty nice because of that quality ideas with the maritime uh, expansion on their naval. Like, they have 105. They can easily go over that with, like, 20 to 30 more lights kind of thing. Uh, I'd chuck in, at like, another 20 galley. Uh, oh, do they really need that? I don't know if they really need more transports until... Maybe a little later. Like, the only place they need transports is just moving over to the Americas. And I feel like they can do some diplomacy with Inca or Texas to try and fight these guys. Or even England, because they still have these ports over here. Uh, but yeah, most of their fighting will be on land, either against France, or Ulm, or Spain. Or even Prussia, if like, something takes a turn. Uh, they're reformed, which means they get... The plus one possible advisor, tolerance of heretics. So, they've got 100% even though they've got all these other things, meaning they don't really need to focus it. They still can, but because they've got that three, uh, if we look at... That's forts. If we look at... Where's one of them? Ghent, here. Uh, see, like, normally, if we go over to, like, here. Uh, that's not the best one. Intolerant. Intolerance for this tax modifier. It's about halfway down above curtail noble privileges. They get that negative 35 because they're intolerant of the Protestant faith. However, they're reformed and they do have that tolerance of the um, of other faiths, meaning even though these are different religion, it's not affecting their religious unity or their income. And actually, I need to come back to this soon. One second. Alrighty, so I'm back. It's been like 20 minutes since I left because I did a pause start thing or whatever. Uh, yeah. I think I talked about the tolerance, but the actual trade, he gets an extra 10% trade efficiency, another 10% global trade, uh, you know, global trade power. Doesn't really need to convert anything because of this. Like, as long as he doesn't do any decisions that lower it, doesn't need to do that, doesn't need to do that, doesn't need to do that. 
This is heretics, heathens. I always mess it up. So, yeah, doesn't need to do that one. Doesn't need to do that one. He can do that one if he wants. Like, like he can do that one, that one. Bam, bam. And just <laughs> get like that extra 1% bonus for when he has heathens. Like, for example, if he takes this province, or he takes some of these, etc. Um, uh, decisions, right, he has this 25% national sailor bonus, which is pretty good, means he can have more sailors out on the field. Extra 5% discipline, so he has 115% discipline as is. 5.15 morale without defensive. See some of these guys with defensive and whatnot have 5.75 morale. He's got 5.15 without it. So, like... He's already leagues ahead kind of thing, because he hasn't used an idea grip to get that, from what I know. It might be... Yeah, that's Stiflo cost, Morale and Navies, do 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 do, yeah, okay. This, 1621, so he's got three years left of that, but, oh my, uh... I don't know why you went Tech 18, though. I don't... What comes at Tech 18? He has, he gets morale, okay, um, I would have used it on, like, this, I would try and get these, because these are a lot, uh, if we let a month tick, it'll probably increase the money a fair bit, because, like, sure, they're already miners, so they get, each province with Westphalian, Rhinish, or Flemish gets negative 15% tax, and negative 15% morale, negative 10% sailors, which, like, when they're accepted, it's zero, but compared to the normal, like Walloon, which is this stuff, gets 1.5 unrest, negative 23% tax, negative 2 missionary strength, negative 23% manpower, negative 15 sailors, like, it's a big hit to these things. Meanwhile, these, uh, Westphalian, like, you can get an extra few ducats out of this stuff, uh, Where's that? Rhinish here? So if he beats up Cologne, takes Lower Rhineland, takes North Rhine, and I'm assuming takes Westphalia, while this is all split up between all... I, I think there's going to be some fights here, between two against one, or one against two kind of thing, because of how land is being cut up. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah. He just needs to kill Brabant, which I heard was like a mis a misdo in the war, he forgot to take the land, he just pieced out the war leader. Um, right, this stuff, I know he's been doing the ticks, uh, just needs to like, pump that up a little bit, get the extra 5% tax, do the uh, admin, which is 24, so like 10 years, 6 years, sorry, yeah. Uh, tr tech, he's fairly caught up with everything, uh, again, I'd focus, because the westerns get a new cav, I'd focus the mill, otherwise the leather cannon isn't that much of an upgrade, so it's kind of, I don't know, I'd still focus the mill tech over the idea anyway, and then, you know, focus idea. Oh, he hasn't got anything focused, which, I mean, I would, because his next thing is likely going to be trade, or trade, quantity, naval, or plutocratic. Those would be my next idea group. Uh, nothing here is just really needed. Maybe innovative for that extra 20% um, combat ability with quality, as well as, you know, the negative 10 tech cost, institution embracement, etc., etc. Solid idea group, but not one I'd take as, like, an initial. Because uh, it's admin points that you need to spend on coring, etc. Um... Yeah. Uh, English Channel, he current currently making 72 ducats out of the 55 here because of his high trade efficiency, uh, which he just needs to get the burgers back in line, and it might be like... That's... He's earning 55 out of the 72 here. Right, yes, okay. So yeah, maybe get that trade from England because they only have that 35%. Uh, get the trade from France don't know how, because it's the, it's, it's gonna be weird, 
but they should they get so much more money than both of these two like even combined even though it's 38 and 15 compared to the 45 he still gets way more uh trade power i would be building trade ports in the like trade posts in these provinces because they're all contested like especially especially that one but you can't because it's not you know that's a shame uh, I'd be pushing trade out with England um, and fighting the Hamburg. Hamburg is like your biggest enemy regarding this. They have control over 30% control over this, which means like they're producing 15%. Uh, they are producing an extra 15% goods, but because England has, you know, control over this node with what? 48%, that's another 20, so that way it's 33% overall goods produced, because they're both merchant republics. Uh, he's already sucked back up, she, they have already sucked back up the people that got out over here, which is annoying because now they have cores again. But yeah, uh, should be fine, just cleaning up borders, uh, no need to really convert anything unless you have spare time and want to. Yeah. Um, you have the trade power, I assume, yep, I'd chuck trade power here as well if you really want that extra bit, because yeah, that's a level 2, I'd focus on getting that third one to a, uh, to level 3 actually, so yeah, I'd focus on getting that to a level 3, uh, if you don't have any other trade ports, um, Papal State, that's a annoying, the Papal State have that there, um, it's really just because the French have no control over it. Uh, yeah, like, the people say heads no land, but they have high control. That's nerfed. I feel like that's because of trade ideas. But yeah, I wouldn't get trade ideas as, um, I would get trade ideas mainly because once you start expanding colonially, like, if you do get that chance, you can then start pulling all that trade from colonies and etc. Um, yeah, and beat back this and beat the uh, nations that are trying to put it into here. Uh, discipline, etc. Yeah, I think I've gone over everything. Let's look at the reforms. Dutch Republic, 10% trade efficiency, 10% combat ability, number of states, uh, random candidate bonus. Sure? I mean... Yeah, no, you would, wouldn't you? Because it's for life, so you want that extra plus one. Right, yes. Uh, sortition, you definitely want that one, yeah, uh, that, would that even work? Or do you get a third option that's like, hey, it's a cousin of that same family, I think that's what that is, I don't know, I would have chosen maybe that one or that one, because I'm not sure how it works in regards to Dust Republics, um, I'd take consolidation of power, but it's already too late, unless he wants to buy down the corruption, um, Union of States, trade power abroad, it makes sense, he doesn't need um, that. Uh, let's see how much it's costing for states, really not that much. With you, I would say this building is actually worth it, just putting one in each um, of these provinces, like in one in each state, just because it reduces that state maintenance, because you will be having a reliance on them. That 1.1 reduces by 25%, etc. I think it's per... 25% for the province, though. I'm not sure. I just... It's a really bad building. Um, normally. Uh, universities, everyone builds them. Focus that. Get the extra um, goal from it. Where is it? Have at least five permanent cultures. Have at least five universities. That, three trade companies, etc. Um, yeah. Army maintenance. Drilling armies. Navies. We have mothballed navy somewhere. I assume it's the heavy fleet. No, it's the transports. Are they using the heavy fleet? Dutch courage, fleet morale. That's really good. Fleet engagement with. Why aren't these? Are they planning on doing something right now with them? That seems weird. Uh, diplomatic expenses. I assume they're buying it. No, they're paying Austria for harbor fees. Fair enough because they're fighting their colonial ship for them. Um, fort maintenance. 
Yeah, that's the only one you need. That one and that one are the only ones you need as long as Prussia's safe with you. Uh, yeah, there's not much I can really say. They've got three stab, yep. They've got the Monarchus, the Organist in power, which give them that land force limit and stability cost. If they want that actual naval force limit, trade power, etc. It's as simple as electing a few status, getting the Republican tradition back up, getting that naval, whatever. It's fine. Uh, yeah, like they can build over and then just when they need to have it even more, switch over the status. Uh, Dutch Republic's really strong that way. Except for this. This is this is cancer. Uh, they could be at max of 50 if they had the other election choice picked, which is nice because then you can get the um, cold and country disaster and then get a max of, what, 80 absolutism? Um, and really, the only way you're going to be getting absolutism is through strengthening government and increasing stab whenever it happens cuz yeah yeah um yeah you haven't been able to get anything really that was quite silly because yeah you shouldn't do that until you have the settlers actually doing stuff um morale and navies what's this one fully owned province in colonial Eastern America. If they get, like, if they buy, like, a province from, I don't know, someone. <laughs> yeah, if they buy a province from someone and then just pop that when they're in the middle of a war, that'll be alright. Uh, North Lanka. Yeah, okay, that they gain a thing, right, yes. And all they need there is one province, right? Yep, one fully colonized province, settler chance, global tariffs. Is that for the rest of the game? No, for 15 years. Then this is all Indian, Australia, Indonesian, etc. Yeah, that's all late game. Then they have to compete with Hindustan, Ayutthaya, Portugal, and Japan. Um, I haven't even got this. That's crazy. Oh, right, because Babant, right, yes. Yes, they need that last one to get that 10% morale, which again, puts them up even higher. Um, this one's really strong, which they only need three provinces from France and one province from there. Get 100 admin, 250 dockets. And then, what's that? Yeah, then they can just get this. Boom. And bada bing, bada boom. Tolerance of true faith. It, it's really not needed, honestly. They can just convert stuff, but oh well. Um, yeah. Good on. Uh, build that spino good on Ottomans, get that 5% off admin and whatever. Yeah. Ooh wee. Ooh ah. Ting tang. Well, well, wing bang. Uh, that'll be it. That'll be it, Puglot. No, I forget the name of that. Bess, Bess, that'll be it, Bessie. That'll do, Bessie. I don't fucking do.